Hi there, Steve Kaufman here. Today is November the 11th in Canada. When it's Remembrance Day, Canadians remember the many people who laid down their lives, who sacrificed their lives at very young ages in order to defend our country. Uh, in Canada, in the First World War, 330,000 people volunteered to fight. In the Second World War, over a million Canadians volunteered to fight, which is an enormous number of people who courageously ended up, you know, running great danger, and in many cases they never returned. Uh, I would have a poppy if I had remembered to bring one from Vancouver, um, but I don't have a poppy, but nevertheless I think it's important to remember people who made these sacrifices for us. Today I want to talk about uh, power language learning, of course. I'm in week two of my power language learning challenge. I set myself the goal of studying three languages every day, Arabic, Persian, and Turkish. And in each language, I'm going to create a hundred links, which means that I'm going to save a hundred new words. Names don't count. Words in the language. Every day I save a hundred of them. Uh, I can report that I have been maintaining this level every day. I do this now. Uh, it does change my language learning uh, activities to some extent because I, I have to begin by making sure I get my hundred links created. And when I don't, I end up sitting there at 1030 at night creating links in order to meet that goal. So it's a bit of a distortion. I've also discovered something I think rather important, and that is that coercion works, all right? Uh, I always say we need to learn from interesting content, compelling content, the sort of uh, intrinsic motivation, our interest in the subject matter, uh, you know, our, our positive attitude towards the language. All of these things are very important and can be tremendously motivating. However, it is also true that some degree of coercion works. So, what do I mean by that? I now have set myself this mechanical goal of saving a hundred links every day in each language. Okay? What that does is it forces me into, first of all, more difficult content where there are more unknown words, forces me into content where I have trouble understanding what it's all about, forces me out of my comfort zone. But I find that as I do that, a number of things happen. First of all, when I go back to the easier material, it seems easier. Possibly that's because I'm doing three languages so that pushing my brain a little bit when I go back to something that I have done before that's easy, it seems clearer than before. I notice better than I did before, or so it seems. It's also encouraging to go back to something that is easy after you struggle with things that are difficult. And I find that uh, in choosing content to study, whereas before I would deliberately seek out things of interest, and which I still do, of course. I, I listen to my Al Jazeera or France 24 podcasts in Arabic. I have them automatically transcribed, which means that the transcription is not tremendous. Uh, I do the same with, uh, with Turkish and with, uh, with Farsi. Uh, and so I struggle with these. I struggle with them because it's difficult to understand them. And so when I go and now scour our library for content that's easier or at least properly transcribed, I find that I'm not so fussy about how interesting, intrinsically interesting the material is because I'm motivated by this mechanical and very clearly defined goal, I have to find a hundred new words. I have to save a hundred new words. I have to create a hundred new links in the language. And I get a great sense of satisfaction from doing that. And so it's a bit like the French say, l'appétit vient en mangeant, the appetite comes with the eating. As I go back to some of these uh, perhaps less interesting items in our library in Persian or Arabic, I, I do them now because I want to create my hundred links and I know that the transcripts are accurate. So it's just a reminder that, that there are different ways for us to be motivated. 
for me, the 100 links a day is a self-imposed goal. No one has told me I have to do that. I've decided to do that. So I've, I've created some self-imposed coercion to make sure that I keep driving forward into new material or at least material that has unknown words in it. Now, I still go back and listen to earlier material. I still have to go back and I want to go back and read material where I have basically saved all the words so it's full of yellow words which I still can't remember. But uh, I find that this, this level of self-imposed coercion is making sure that I put more time into my language learning than I otherwise would. So I just sort of add that in uh, because I, I stress so often and of course I want to get to the stage where I can simply enjoy my podcast in Arabic and you know it's early days here it's 10 days 10 11 days into my uh, power language learning challenge so I'm hopeful that in a couple of months uh, I will be able to enjoy these podcasts Arabic Persian Turkish uh, that they will be less fuzzy less ambiguous less difficult to understand and in six months even easier and in nine months even easier uh, but at least at this stage I feel a sense of satisfaction even as I'm swimming in all this difficult to understand stuff that I am at least meeting this goal that I set for myself and that gives me a sense of satisfaction and achievement and when we have a sense of satisfaction and achievement we are encouraged and we want to continue so thank you for listening and I want to mention one thing and that is if you are interested if you would like to receive my 10 secrets of successful language learning this is a course in 10 emails you can receive this free of charge by simply clicking on the link that you see on the screen that's it thank you for listening bye for now